Janice Wong is the proud founder and owner of 2AM Dessert Bar in Holland Village. At 29 years old, she is considered one of the most promising young chefs in Singapore today. The uh, turning point in my life was when I was in Melbourne. And I think when I got you know, hold of these good produce and tasted them, and I was like, that's fantastic. We don't have that freshness here. And how can I focus on good ingredients back home in Singapore, creating experiences for people? After coming in second in Channel 8's cooking competition Star Chef, she started the dessert bar in 2007. She constantly pushed culinary boundaries with innovative desserts that are not only delicious, but are always presented artistically. My main focus was doing progressive desserts. You know, the idea is um, to have people enjoy the last course of the meal in a very fine way, uh, not having to eat uh, six to seven courses before enjoying the last course. Uh, the dessert, the food, the atmosphere is, is very unique. It's, um, it's very Janice. Asia is not known for pastries. And she is something unique because she is female, she's Asian, she's petite, and she has this enormous personality, big personality, technically so advanced that even the pastry chefs in Europe, pastry chefs in the States, the Western pastry chefs are paying attention to her. 2011 was a milestone year for Janice. She opened a culinary research centre called 2AM Lab, the first of its kind in Asia. I mean, 2AM Lab was a big decision for me because um, it was not meant to be making money. I wanted to refocus back onto what I first did, which is uh, creating. She also launched her first cookbook, Perfection in Imperfection. At the book launch, she treated 400 guests to beautiful edible installation artworks. It was her first time creating art that viewers could literally feast on. The inspiration for the first edible art installation was the launch of the book. How can people eat this recipe? It's a book launch. So it was a challenge and I decided to do a, a marshmallow ceiling inspired by icicles, you know, and then it started dripping it off the, the wall. And, um, and people started, you know, going crazy over it and um, it was a great experience because people remembered it. A passion for food started at a young age. When she was three, Janice's family moved to Tokyo where they stayed for four years. Living abroad exposed her to new tastes and flavours. I'm very used to actually um, picking things and just putting it in my mouth. And strangely, my parents never stopped me from doing that. Very used to the international culture as well as international schools in Tokyo and in Hong Kong. So I think that brought up her confidence and, and yeah, so she became very independent. And we don't have to worry about her studies because she will just do everything on her own. Janice takes her work very seriously, even to the extent of subjecting herself to 72 hours of blindness in 2010 to heighten her other senses. Tennis is a boss. It's cool. So you get a, actually quite a lot of freedom. You don't get really too much direction. It's really want to see what, even without too much references, what you're coming up with. Like it, giving your product and say, yeah, hey, well, play with a manga. I want to see what you're doing with it. So. But most recently, I went to Japan on a farm trip for four days. And we were taken to different farms by the Japanese government. And um, they actually said this to me, I hope we can work with Singapore closely. And for that one moment, I actually felt like, OK, you know, like um, I'm representing Singapore, although I don't work for the government but I still have a part to play here. And um, I mean, the idea is to always share good food with people, share experiences, and keep passing on the message. My one goal is to become a useful human being here. Uh, I always think of myself as a vessel to pass on the message, be it representing Singapore or myself or women in general. I think uh, the main key thing is to really inspire people.